All right, so today's project is going to be this. We're going to go out to the garage and we're going to take the stock rear shock out of the FZ09 and we're going to put this one in. This is out of a Suzuki Hayabusa. So it's going to handle my fat ass a lot better than the stock one will. Here we are. So I've already got the tank removed from the bike. I figured uh, we've seen how to do that in other videos so there wouldn't really be any point in going over it again trying to keep this kind of short and sweet and then with the tank off you'll be able to see the top the bolt here uh, we're going to be removing that and this one down at the bottom here hopefully you can see that one too so i think what we're going to do is the bottom one first <clears throat> progress. We definitely tighten that some bitch now. Alright, so that back one had a 9 16 and an 11 16 Let's get that nut off of there. I'm not going to take the uh, bolt out so we get everything squared away and ready to come out of there so up top it's part of my power commander scared to death of this bike falling off the stand all right so we'll use the 9 16 on that one as well Now's probably as good a time as any to mention that I don't actually know what the fuck I'm doing. This is just me trying to piece something together, try to make something work. So if you see me doing anything incredibly wrong, please don't do it on your bike. But uh, by the time you see this, it will have been too late for mine. Sprung up. I just spring up. Ah, keep the wheels on the ground. I guess is the way we should have gone with this. All right. So actually, that should take the pressure off. And what do you know? That slides right out. So there. That's the first thing. First lesson you can learn. This thing has a good bit of tension on it when it's all the way up in the air because the shock hits uh, hits the um, the linkage for the rear suspension here. So that's the uh, that's the old shock and the new shock. So you can definitely see we're going to have some clearance issues. We're going to cut out a section of that plastic tray to make room for this reservoir. This is a very important step. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you take plenty of pictures to put on uh, Facebook and Twitter so everybody knows how cool you are for doing your own work. Because what's the point of working on your own shit if nobody's going to know how fucking badass you are for what doing it? What we need to do at this point is make room for that reservoir. Which means we need to cut out a section in here. Um, there's all these connections on top of this piece. I've gone ahead and disconnected them tape them back or zip tie them back. I have tape handy so I'm going to go ahead and tape it back. And then we've got a Dremel that we're going to use to try and uh, cut this section out. Nobody's going to see it so I'm not going to worry about being too pretty with it. So there we go, that's not too bad. I'm going to be honest, I pictured this going a lot smoother. Ooh. About here.
The zip bits work pretty good. Remember we dropped a washer earlier? Haha. <laughs> That's the real reason I did this, so I could reach that fucking washer. We wanted to test fit this shit down here to make sure we can avoid drilling out this shot, because I don't like permanently modifying things. Cool, so that spacer slides out. You can see the difference here. That's for a 12 millimeter, this is for a 10. So we're gonna slide this 10 right back in in its place. And there we go, now we've got the proper size for this Hayabusa shock. And we didn't have to modify the Hayabusa shock at all. So if you decide you don't like this, Always give your bike blowies when you can. <sighs> Want to get rid of the shock later. It's not fucked up and cut into pieces. Man, this reservoir is quite a bit bigger than we were than I thought. Got the same bitch in here. Cool. Look at that. Well, it's pretty close. Jeez. All right. Bottom one is in. Now we can fight the top one a million different ways. God damn, that was a pain in the ass. Oh, and we got that. God damn. Some bitch wants to fight me every step of the way. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. need to help pick up on something, or I'm gonna do you have no weight on the back wheel now, or you do? Well, I, this um, once this thing's extended, if you put it in the air, the shock actually hits the linkage, and won't let you lay the shock down all the way. Ah. So I gotta kind of keep adjusting it so I can get it uh, well, where I need it. Well, give me a hand. Yeah, let me just, let me just I gotta get this. All right, she's through. I'm gonna put her back up so she'll pull herself up there. Cool. That's a tight fucking squeeze, huh? Yeah, yeah, shit. So that's her. The shock's in. As you can see, it's kind of tight, but it's not too bad. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really going to be able to get to any adjustments. That's going to be my only issue. I might have to figure out something for that, but... the hell that just fucking proves but it was fun oh that's it that's a high boost of shock inside of an fz09 before we get too into this i should probably give you some background information um i'm about six foot tall and about 250 250 255 pounds of mostly cheeseburgers and pizza so uh, i'm not exactly the weight demographic this bike was uh, originally designed for I'm a little on the fat ass side. I'm so used to kind of tensing up or like gritting my teeth over some of these bumps. And they're sure as hell not, you know, as smooth as a cruiser. But it feels much better. And I haven't, uh, I did bump up the preload a little bit. 
So I'm currently running with uh, 32 millimeters of preload. And that feels pretty good right now. I mean, uh, I haven't got on any twisties to really feel it, you know, see how it does in corners. But just in riding, you know, just cruising down, down the uh, road, it doesn't feel too bad. Oh man, it feels a lot nicer. God damn. I like it, man. Oh, it's wet. So sorry, it is winter time. There is a fair bit of snow on the ground. Roads are wet and cold. Done a substantial suspension modification and I'm on bald tires. But damn, it feels fucking much better. Man, it feels good. So I gotta say, I don't, I don't know uh, exactly a better way to describe it, other than it's, it's firmer and it's less, less harsh. You know, with my other shock, I had the. Uh, preload and rebound dampening turned all the way up because no matter what I did it was too soft so I just maxed out everything and uh, it goes better than with it being too soft or better than it was on the stock setting but uh, around town it was much harsher because it just didn't have any give so this actually feels a lot better it feels like it's sitting a little bit higher in the rear I feel like I want to sit more even more upright on it it definitely is bounce less, way less bouncy. And, uh, you know, it actually feels really good. It's less harsh over little bumps. And I haven't touched the uh, rebound dampening or compression dampening yet, so I'm assuming that's on whatever factory settings it was on the Hayabusa. Man, it feels so much nicer when you can like accelerate and you don't feel things squatting back on you. It just stays where it's supposed to be. It feels much more composed. But hopefully this video turns out alright. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully this was helpful. I know some of my instruction might not be the greatest. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you guys get an idea of how to do that and how to do it without drilling the shock. Also hoping you guys, uh, maybe gives you guys some ideas. And also, if you look at, go to the comments, and let me know what I fucked up putting that shock in. What I made more difficult for myself. Any good ideas you have of what we should, what should be done instead of what I did. Because, like I've said before, I'm not a guy who knows what he's doing. I'm just a guy who's trying to figure shit out as he's doing it. But, uh, man, I'm, like, giddy right now. This thing feels so fucking good. But yeah, go to the comments, let me know what kind of shit I made more difficult for myself, and maybe it'll save somebody else hassle down the road. Maybe some other dude's gonna do this to his FZ, and you can save him 20 minutes and a lot of headaches. Help each other out. Also, click the fucking like button and subscribe and all that good shit. Pass the word around. I don't have any stickers yet, but um... If you go get a magic marker and start writing my name on all kinds of shit, I'll appreciate it. You know, it's like a sticker, but people can't peel it off. So, go find, you know, police cars, uh, you know, government buildings, courthouses, and just start writing Motor Chain 513 all over them. It's cool. Nobody will mind.